1580 WBKL The Praise. What did I tell you? Total You're Praise tough. is a total classic. I can't speak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so beautiful, you know. I mean, the song, you know what the thing is, is that mm -hmm. when you start thinking about the words, even Richard Smallwood's words, mm -hmm. you are the source of my strength, mm -hmm. and you are the strength of my life. I lift my hands in total praise. It, it just sets the atmosphere for all things. Just, it, it leaves you speechless. It does. <laughs> I mean, they, some people do still write like that, you know. Uh, but uh, who? Richard Smallwood. <laughs> John P. Key is an awesome songwriter. Oh, yeah, he is. Smokey yeah. Norfolk is an awesome songwriter. Hey, Richard Smallwood. Donald Lawrence is an awesome songwriter. Dang, so there is still a lot of songwriters who write like that. But yeah, yeah. that one, that's a classic. It will never be duplicated. It won't. You it know. Won't. You're right. You're right. <laughs> now, coming up in our artist spotlight. Oh, my goodness. These guys. I'll tell you a quick story. Them brothers. <laughs> uh, it was 2000, I want to say 2003. Okay. We were in Indianapolis, Indiana mm -hmm. for... I forget his name. It was an anniversary. <laughs> How are you going to say, oh, yeah, who's in his anniversary? I, Don't you know, know so many concerts. Those. Who can remember? <laughs> no, but I do remember these guys. Now, they were on the program, uh -huh. and it was a just huge program. You know, a lot of musical, a lot of choirs, and just a, when I, you know, I'll, I'll think of his name when I'm not thinking of it. <laughs> but uh, the Williams singers were yes. on the program, and when they came out, they were wearing, like, jerseys. And the twins had braids. I said, did you "Oh think no!" It was gonna be rap or something. I did. Uh, I thought. Like, oh, I said. I said, "All right, uh, y'all ready?" <laughs> I'm serious. I was like, "Y'all ready?" We were actually walking out of the church. Oh no! We were walking out, and then they didn't come out. They didn't, you know, wasn't no hey hi who you know none of that. It was like boom, they just hit it, and oh, we got goodness. halfway up the aisle, and we stopped. I was like, "Wait a minute!" You know. <laughs> I said, oh, hold up. Talk about looks can be deceiving. But they were wearing they were wearing jerseys and braids and beads and stuff. And That's I was like. They was the nothing but two. There was 12-year-olds. No, 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 no. They, <laughs> no, I think they were like, um, I want to say like early 20s. I, I, I believe oh, they were like early 20s. 20s. Okay. Yeah, so we turned around and came back in. Now, remember, you know, Indianapolis is like, what, five-hour ride? Is it? I yeah, it's, it, it's not close. Right. Okay, it's not that close. I was like, let's go. Let's get on the road. It's getting late. Right. We came back in there, mm -hmm. and we stayed. <laughs> and See? afterward, we talked to the guys, you know, got business cards and all that, and, you know, and been in a relationship with them ever since. But oh, they totally cool. fooled us, and we were just, I said, you know, you guys better get ready for the world. See, you know what? And you know what? At that time, they had never even been out of Indianapolis. And we're going to have them call into the show. That, yeah. You know, that's my thing. Everybody mm -hmm. that we have on here, my, we're, we're going to reach out to them to have them call into the, to the show so they can talk about, you know, their journey and tell us about, you know, how Look, they made speaking it. Speaking of journey, you know mm -hmm. what? Recently, and I'm what? talking about this on next week's Gospel News, mm -hmm. they just signed with Blackberry Records. All right. Yeah, I out of Mississippi. Applause, I'd give them a <laughs> but you know, it's about time. It's been a long time coming, and I'm very, very happy for them. Man, you've been so. talking three minutes. You know what? You didn't even tell the people who we're talking about. I'm talking about the Williams Singers. <laughs> I did talk about them. I said their name earlier. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah the missing. Williams Singers. The singers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like all the brothers, but they're, yeah. they're, they're not all brothers, are they? Yes, they're all brothers. There's oh. the twins, Desrell, Desmian, and uh, Darnell. He's the oldest. See. And they are awesome. And they have an awesome band. They're just absolutely. I am so happy for them right now. I'm because so happy. Doing, because it's somebody, that, that's what I'm talking about. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. It's about seeing artists from the infancy stage of mm -hmm. their, their career and their ministry. That's if you right. You want to say that, that's a better Which word. I did. <laughs> but uh, to uh -huh. see them grow to the place that God has them destiny mm -hmm. bound, it's so awesome. Mm -hmm. I, you know, Nina's introduced me to these, these uh, wonderful singers, and I'm so glad to get to know them and their music and their ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the commercials, we're going to play our artist spotlight of the day. It's the Williams Singers. What song are they going to do? It's called Feel Like Having Church. Oh. Right, do you feel it? Oh, I feel it right here on AM 1580 WBKL The Praise, where we are the voice of the people.